Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of Elixir Drops. So uh, today, you know, I'm actually, we're going to go back over uh, pattern matching and a little bit of um, slick recursion you can do with with uh, functions in Elixir. So um, I have this sort of silly coding interview thing, rock, paper, scissors, um, given a set of letters, you know, give me the winner. So that you take the first two, this is a player that's, that's throwing the rock hand, this one's throwing paper, so rock, uh, paper beats rock, so paper wins. Uh, same here, uh, scissors versus paper, scissor wins, and uh, rock versus scissors, rock wins. So. You know, I had this in a coding interview a while back, and I just thought it might be an interesting way to show how um, Elixir is kind of slick. So I'm going to set up some things that uh, took me a little bit to figure out, but uh, just so that we can have some stuff going on. So one way to solve this is to have a, a map, like keys, so that uh, if you get a letter here, let's say you get rock, um, and your opponent is playing scissors, then rock will win. And this will make sense in a minute. Now this isn't anything interesting about elixir per se, but um, it, it's needed for this to work and uh, it's it's one of an easy solution. So what are we going to do? We're going to, the goal is to find the winners out of this string. So we get a string of players, right? Um, and first we have to just grab all those characters out of that. So you can use string split to uh, split those up. This is one way to do it. I'm sure there's better ways. I'd love to hear them if you have ideas. You have to do trim true in elixir, which is kind of weird, but um, Anyhow, that's uh, that's no big deal. So, I like to you know break these problems down. So let's just worry about finding one winner. You know, let's assume that we get a player one and player two. And here's how we can see how that uh, function above. And I'm gonna just uh, do this to give us a little space. So here here's how we can see how that function above might work. So, um, or sorry, the uh, variable I guess winners. So uh, you know, if the first player is R, all right, and it is equal to this value's return is uh, S, scissors, then um, if this is true, then we know that player one won. And I'm going to explain why I'm sending it back in another list. Um, if it's not true, then player two won. All right. Uh, and that'll, that'll, hopefully that makes sense. So that's, that's how we can find a winner. Now, uh, we have to kind of loop over all these guys. So let's just say get winners through all these chars because I want to get, I want to do a different function so I can do recursion. And I'm going to show you, this is the whole reason for this video. So if we can recurse over all these characters, which is a list, we're going to find the winner, right? So we want to find a winner for player one. Let me scroll this up a bit. We want to find the player uh, winner, player one and player two. And we want to just keep adding those. I want just a new array of winners. So, um, you know, how would we do this, right? It's not quite going to work like this, but I, the idea is that I just want to peel off the first two players out of that list and just keep going. So we can actually just pattern match on the list right here. So let's grab the first one, the second one, and, and we won't worry about the rest. This pipe operator allows us to leave the rest of these in, in, in another array or technically a list in Elixir. So there's P1, P2, and then we're going to just keep going through that list. So uh, let's see if this works. Uh, let's see, we have to run it. And we can run it like so. And it's rock, paper, scissors, find winners. Uh, and let's say rock, paper, let's just see if we get one. Oh, what did I do wrong here? Find winners. Ah, yes. So we're actually already seeing the base case here. So when the list is empty, right, this fails. So uh, I jumped ahead of myself a bit. So we're going to have to solve for that. So if get winners is an empty list, um, in fact, if it's if it's an empty list or even just one a list of one item, I just want it to be returned. So I'm going to just say this, right? I could have pattern matched in here as well and made other an actual empty list. Uh, but then I'd have to write another function for when there's actually like one player in here, you know, like player three, the last guy or something, if it's an odd number of players. So we'll just do this. That should solve our problem. I think I can actually just recompile here by saying RPSX like this. And there we go. So find, there we go, rock. Paper beats rock. Scissors beats rock. What about if two player, 
two people play scissors, right? I, what I want is them to lose. So we can add that in here as well um, in our find winner. So if the players play the same exact hand, that means these variables are going to match, and I just want to return an empty array, which will return no winners. So that'll solve our problem here of scissors versus scissors. And there you have it. So that's how to solve a very um, silly coding interview uh, with Elixir. But I thought it was a good example of what you can do. You know, if you if you have a nice data structure, um, you know, you 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 you're handling one uh, module function from Elixir, and then you can really do this nice recursion. You can pattern match on your arguments and your functions. It's not too hard to understand. You have your base case functions, and uh, there you have it. So hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.